So obviously we've got a really weird, not normal situation we're in. We are six ways to the flop out of position with an overpair on a monotone board. This is what nightmares are made of, <laughs> you know? Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another stream here on the Pokestables channel. Thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful Monday morning. An important Monday morning, not a usual Monday morning because we have the $1,100 World Cup of Cards going on right now. World Cup of Cards main event, this is the last chance. We haven't qualified on the first two uh, main event days, so we have a chance this morning in the Turbo, and if we fail in that, in the Hyper. So, pretty high stakes Monday morning. You know, we have 1K shots with re-entries. We could be in for 4,000 bucks in the next hour, uh, but hopefully we can make it through into day two and in the money of the 1K World Cup of Cards. So uh, that's going to be the plan. We're playing the mini World Cup of Cards and side events and stuff, but, you know, obviously it's about the main event. So uh, let's get into it here. Now we have eights in the 1K. We get a raise and a call and a call. And there's a lot of dead money in there, but I think that we're making a mistake by squeezing here because we, we're just not happy about getting it in for our 49 blinds. These are really strong positions. I think we have to set mine here. This is hilarious though. <laughs> I still think calling is better, even though these hands are weak. So there's basically a dead 21,000 in the middle, but we still have to sweat both of these opponents having better pairs, which they're gonna have too often. So set mine, set mine. What, Pedro, bro? What are you doing fold in here, Pedro? So obviously we've got a really weird, not normal situation we're in. We are six ways to the flop out of position with an over pair on a monotone board. This is, what nightmares are made of, <laughs> you know? So I think we just take it straight forward, right? Against one bet, we're thinking about calling. Against a bet and a call, we're probably still gonna cry and call for such a cheap price. When they shove, it's a clear fold. And that's that. Okay, man. All right, chat. We've got options, but I think we're happy. Raise, get a call, ace 10 eight on the flop with two spades. Uh, I think we bet not big, a third-ish on ace 10 eight. Get some value from our hands. And we see a five of clubs, pretty much a brick, right? Like it'll complete a few things like 10-5 suited or 8-5 suited, but not very many hands. Uh, mostly that's a great card for us. So we're just gonna go for a bigger sizing now on the turn. Let's make it uh, 28,000 and a great spot for us. There's the few better hands, but there's so many 10X and 8X and worst aces and straight draws and flush draws. It's like we are beating so many hands. Um, we just get to bet relentlessly, you know? And fold the five nine. King Jack here against Niccolo. Half, half, three bet call, we three bet this time. Let's bet on the flop in our three bet pot. 22K, we have a gutter to the nuts. We have backdoor jack of diamonds, which is not super valuable, right? Like it's it's gonna be tough to value bet a jack high flush when there's three, bet, you know, stronger flushes, but it's something. And gutter to the nuts is nice. Now the four on the turn. Do we wanna keep betting here? Yeah, I think, I think we should bluff. I think it's a reasonable spot to bluff with King Jack. And what are we targeting here? Jack 10 suited, queen 10 suited, king 10 suited, 10 nine suited. Jack's uh, slow played kings and queens. Ace five suited, ace six suited. Those sort of hands, right? Like weak one pair hands, under pairs to the ace, that sort of stuff. And we have some equity to go along if we get called, but sometimes they just have a flush and we're drawing stone dead. Uh, I think it's a reasonable bluff. So we can three bet fold or flat here. We should probably three bet some. I'm gonna three bet third of the time and then call the rest, I think. Call this time. I don't like three betting a ton because obviously it really sucks to three bet full ace queen off. Now, I, I still think we should, in theory, be three betting this hand sometimes, but I like call more in this spot. We see a really bad flop. Boris gets to bet like a ton here, like probably 80% of range. The fact they check back is actually quite interesting. So I was thinking about betting because Boris should really not be very strong here. Pedro bets 27.5. Uh, I'm gonna check raise, I guess. I mean, I think this is garbage. We can call and then decide if we want to bluff catch the river, but most of the time when they choose this big sizing, they're saying I have two pair, that they flatted, raised, cold call on the small blind, that they made two pair. There's a few, you know, jack eight suited, but they probably don't even call jack four or jack deuce or four deuce suited, right? So like they're representing a quite narrow two pair plus range here. They could be value betting a jack for a big sizing, but most of the time, I don't think people choose like 85, 90% when they're just value betting a jack on the turn. I mean, they can, in theory, go for a big value bet with the top pair, but most of the time people don't. I think we're going to see more like a 60% instead of that really polar sizing. So uh, we check raise and we win. That's That was pretty sweet, man. Um, so I think we just peel here with queen jack suited. I think good enough to just call. If we had jack nine or jack eight or nine eight with the back door flush up, I like check raise more, but two overs, three to a straight, three to a flush, we call, let's see a turn. And turn is just an absolute dream. 
Now we probably just want to call another bet here in that sometimes we beat hands, right? We've got to think queen high beats some of the lower straight draws that raise six, seven suited, uh, maybe four, six suited, etc. But it goes check, check, rivers of five, pairs the board, which is a good board for us. I think we just bet, you know, here, just like three quarters. It's going to be really hard for them to, to call most of the time, but yeah, it's just a good board. We just want to bet. Six is 41 blinds, bro. Damn, this might be a shove. It's so sick, but I think you do need to shove some 45 blind hands, but I'm not sure if we want to choose sixes or more like nines. And there's a difference. I'm going to peel. I know peeling's good. I just don't know. I got a review. It's obviously uncomfortable to shove for like 25 to 40 blinds, but that is definitely something that the best players are doing today and, and needs to be a part of our game. We peel on the flop. It turns to seven. This is actually a pretty good card for this or range for the small blind or board. We have a decent amount of King X in our range. We are in the small blind here, by the way, not the big blind. And block the river. I think I'm going to flat here. The thing is, like, our really strong hands like flatting a lot because of the squeeze spot, you know? We're going to 3-bit a little bit less with aces, kings, queens, and even jacks here than we would typically. Makes I think we need to increase our lower end of our range. needs to flat a little bit more as well for the same reason. Uh, check, check, check raise from Boris, and then a click over the top from Jonah, which Jonah should never click over the top here, I don't think, with anything. It should always flat, I think. But, hey, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Pull the 9-4. Ace-King. Jonah raises. We 3-bet, of course, uh, to, like, around here. 144. Yeah, this is 4x. But I think 136, given our stack is not that deep, right? We want to be able to 3-bet fold. So we'll 3-bet here. Of course, we're not going to 3-bet fold Ace-King. But we want the ability to have hands that can 3-bet and fold. If we don't, if we put too much money in, where we no longer have the mathematical chance to 3-bet fold, well, then they know we've got a value hand, right? They know that we can't be bluffing because we're going to have to call an all-in, and that could affect their decision. So, yeah, we want to give ourselves that option from a strategy point of view, which is why we make it that size. That's why, chat. That's why, that's why. Five deuce is a hunk of garbage. We fold. King seven. Yeah, we raise. Not an easy table here. Check back with king seven, with the seven of diamonds. We make a flush. Flushes are good. I think we probably min bet here, right? It would give us the option to shove in the river, but they go for a bet themselves. 36,000, I think we call. And river is a close spot, I think. In, in theory, I think we just call because, well, they have nine blinds to start the hand. So they can have a king or a diamonds, queen of diamonds, jack of diamonds, all that. Check, check. Nice. Nine of diamonds, eight of diamonds, although they're probably not going to bet the nine, eight of diamonds, nine or eight of diamonds on the turn and the river. They could with king, queen, jack, but like they represent a pretty narrow range and they have a lot of hands that can bluff. So I think theory would say just like, go ahead and call down. In practice, I don't know. Like probably give respect to these great opponents and just call down and call it a day, you know? Uh, eight, nine of diamonds, we're going to fold because of these two, 12 blinds and seven blinds and a big stack that can three bet us. Not a great lineup. It's a great hand, but not a great lineup. Call with deuce five. We're not close enough to the bubble here. We need to call with our suited hands. We have a deflush draw. Okay. All right. Now, how do we play this against Jonah? If they bet 50K, we've got 200K in the middle. We've got 560 back. We probably just check raise less than all in, unfortunately. But, like, probably the right thing to do. We get to continue on the turn pretty much universally. Like, on pretty much any card, we get to continue on the turn. But I think check raise less than all in. The only thing that really sucks with this is when they come over the top, we have to fold. Because they can have higher flush draws, and then, of course, everything else beats us, right? So they either have sets or two pairs or bigger pairs than a pair, right? <laughs> or they have a bigger flush draw. And in both cases, we're not doing very well. We'd have the right odds against a pair, but against higher flush draws, we're absolutely destroyed. So, uh, yeah. 750 here. Uh, small bet here. I think we peel getting four to one. Do we want to turn our pairs into a bluff? See, the problem is like this ace king is just so much stronger for them. I don't think we do. I like we shouldn't win at showdown very often here now when that king comes off on the turn. So we want to hit a three and or I don't know. Let's say one in 20 times they just shut down with like eight, nine suited and we win. But yeah, we should lose here most of the time. We've got Ace King in the big one here, chat. This is our moment in time, okay? We raise. We call any shoves or through bets. As in get it all in, you know? Here we go. 
Here we go. Is King Ace Deuce. Here we go. Great start. Fine turn. Come on, let's go. All right, just shy of a million here. Good situation now. We're in eighth of 21. We just lost a player, so we're going to go Bubble Felt official now. Uh, final three tables. Top 14 make the money, so we need to lose a table's worth. We're actually in eighth. It'll update in a, in a second here. Aces are the best. It doesn't get better, chat. This is the top. This is peak. Top 14 are in the money and make day two, which is today. So flat here, fine. Good squeeze spot for both of these opponents, but we often just go to the flop three ways. But it is a good speed squeeze spot for Dan, I think. But just a call. So we go to flop here, 10-8-5. Uh, this one, I think we want to start with a check call. We, we do want to bet some hands here, but I think... For over pairs, we want to be able to check some over pairs. Aces is the one to check with. Jacks, queens, kings obviously are a little bit more vulnerable and I think would prefer to uh, to bet. So we're going to start with a check with aces. Checks around, jack on the turn. About 105. So we bet on the turn. Jack is okay. I mean, Clemens will have hands like jack 10 suited. They'll have king, queen. They'll have queen, jack, and king, jack, and ace, jack. and So there's some good news and some bad news about that. Queen nine suited probably. Dan definitely has those, and Dan has some two two pair combos and straight combos here, but a lot of junk and a lot of things we beat as well. So we're definitely okay to bet. River is a five. I think we bet here. I think there's value to be had. It's pretty hard for Dan to want to call with a five on the turn as well, to be honest. So I think we go for a nice bet here, and we take it down. Good stuff. We have the best hand in poker, aces. <laughs> here we go. Big spot chat. Hold it, aces. Hold it, aces. Come on, let's go. Um, three bit to 238. I think call is, is the, the right choice here. I mean, I'm a little bit concerned, but ace jack is quite strong. We were raising the cutoff here as a chip leader, so I think folding is too much. I think four betting doesn't make a lot of sense. I think we just call. Quite a small bet here. I think calling is okay, getting six to one odds. So we're going to call in position, see a turn. And obviously there's, there's a pot size bet left, right? Against a hand like, let's say, like tens, right? We have enough equity. Now, it's not super likely in my eyes that they have like fives through tens here because they three bet less than all in 30 blinds deep on the bubble. So that's not super likely, but I just think we have enough pure equity. They bet again on the turn and it's a fold. I do think we want to raise though. We don't really want to flat this ace-jack offsuit in that limp jamming for 32 blinds is awkward. So yeah, I think we just raise. They call. Queen eight four here on the flop. We start with a check call. Ace jack's pretty good, right? It's probably the best hand right now. We also have a lot of good turns of rivers with straight draws and flush draws. Backdoor flush draw with the east. Backdoor nut flush draw. But also, like, we haven't flopped the nuts. So we want to keep the pot small. Goes check check. Jack of the turn. We want to bet some jacks. Uh, not all of them, but some. And I think ace jack is a pretty reasonable one. We get value from worse jacks. We get value from 8x, from some 4x, from some draws, etc. They call. River is a jack of diamonds. We have a good hand. I'm just trying to think about what sort of hands want to check call, check raise, bet call, and bet fold, right? We want to get paid, and ranges are very wide here. Getting raised is a concern in that we're on the bubble. 10-9 offsuit and suited is in the range, and some flushes are made, but we have the ace of diamonds here. But of course, we have straights and flushes too, right? We want to get value from queen x, from 8x, from 4x. Okay. It's a tough river. I mean, I think, honestly, I want to go back and check on the river, I think. But it's close between bet and check from my point of view. We fold here. There's not enough incentive to play on the pure bubble. Ace king, queen four. This could be it. Ace king, hold it. Hold it, ace king. Uh, let's go. Oh, we're in the money chat. Redfeld hype confirmed. Day two. As we have an all in here, king nine against queens. King nine with the huge double. Class is very short. All right. So we've made day two. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> let's, uh, let's win this tournament, okay? Let me pull over the lobby. This is the day two we just made. As you can see, 167,000 for the win. Second place is 115K. We could set our biggest score ever record. And we're down to, well, it's going to be 160 or so with our flight and then the hyper flight. So it's gonna be about 160 players. We've got huge money on the line. So we're through with 1.4 million, right? Which is gonna put us, there we go, 64th, 151 registered. It'll be a bit more, it'll be about 160 or so. So day two's coming up really soon. We'll put it on table three as well. 
Let's go, dude. Are we ready or what? Come on. We've got the 1K day two, starting up in 10 minutes. All right. Okay, here we go. $2,113 cash, chat. There's no knockouts, so it's just a free though, which makes it really simple. You can see all the prize in the bottom left. And you can see we're 64 151 in action. Dean Hutchinson goes for the raise. We're going to fold. Ace King. I think we want to three bet Ace King here. The stacks are interesting for 40 blinds. I think actually 40 blinds deep, we do want to call with Ace King offsuit sometimes here. Or is it Ace King suited? I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to pure three bet Ace King off. We should have some Ace King flats in the spot, especially on the stack deck, but I'm not going to. Cool. This is a fold, actually. 14 blinds here in middle position. They are going to have some broadways, but I don't think enough we fold. I don't know if there's any uh, special tournaments on next week. There probably isn't with the Euros final going on. There's probably no series final, so it's just Sunday majors. We'll see. I mean, there's potential I might take a Sunday off this year. And that could be the one. We'll see. Jack-3 offsuit is pretty bad. I'm going to fold. I'm going to fold this hand. Oh, we got eights. Let's go. Eights are beautiful. So against a raise here, we just shove, I think. Uh, okay. We are all in. Good luck. <laughs> Nothing. That's it. King four offsuit on the button, which is close, I think, to an open. Uh, I'm going to open. The thing that works well for us here is, one, we've been tight in the tournament. Two... The stacks are not so good for Daniel to 3-bit us on 35 blinds. So that makes a close decision a raise, I think. And we got another one. Um, so I think 3-bet a third of the time and call the rest. We're going to call this time. If we if we 3-bet and they 4-bet, we probably fold, which we don't... It's not very good on 40 blinds, you know? It's just not nice. Go to a flop. Pretty good flop raise queen. Not protecting for much. Also, don't want to get it all in here, so I'm okay to check. So we're going to bet on the turn. Jack could be a problem card, but I think... Mm, I don't know if I like this. Maybe checking is better with this combo. Because we're one street of value from Asex. We're really protecting from very little. Check. Block betting is an option here, too, but we lose to Trip Jacks. Uh, Danilo raises with 32 blinds. We definitely can call on the small blind here. We're going to call about two-thirds of our range against early position and then three-bet a third. I'm not sure what it is I want to do here with this one. I think shoving, three-bet calling, calling are all options. Just folding is not an option, right? Ace-queen offsuit. I like the three-bet shove. I think we want a three-bet call here probably. So I'm going to three-bet less than all-in. If I have ace-queen offsuit, I'm going to shove. It's important that we have some three-bet calls. Uh, so I'm going to do that. To 300,000. Sounds good to me. Um, very little payout pressure at this point with 104 people left, right? So we go like this. Leave them the opportunity to bluff with some hands, which people, believe it or not, in the one case will four bet shove bluff. I will, but they don't go for it this time. We're going to raise a basis. It's the best hand in poker. We're raising under the gun. We are, you know, a bit, bit below average, but doing fine. We want some action. 3-bet from Danilo. I think mostly call here. We need to have some strong hands that call. Some nutted hands. I think aces is a good one. I think we want a pure 4-bet kings, queens, jacks, tens here. So we're going to slow play with aces. Flop of 9-8 deuce. Two spades. I just want them to bet like at least 160 here. It would be perfect, you know? I don't want to see a bet at like 110. 220 is amazing. Because now we can very cleanly sort of check shove. And in our range, we have, you know... Queen Jack and Jack 10 and Queen 10 and Spade draws and Ace 9 and all these sort of things that Danilo um, can find some calls with, with big hands. So let's hope for the action. Uh, I think I would have taken that a little bit more personally if I didn't just win 100K last month. Uh, <laughs> that's a really bad beat. I mean, there's, there's definitely worth, I don't know, like $17,000, $18,000, that King of the River. Taking a moment to feel this chat, I'm just, I'm just feeling it, okay? Just, 
that is just one of those things, dude. As I was saying literally 30 minutes ago on the stream, everyone has had this happen to them that plays significant poker. I mean, it's just not, it's just not rare, and it's very reasonable. Uh, this year to us, it's happened a lot, but then we broke through once. So it's tough to really feel too hard done by. But hey, I'm definitely happy with how I played that hand. I played it well. Uh, slow playing, included a strong hand in my range, got the check raise. Of course, we four, but they call, doesn't change anything. I'm bummed out. I mean, <laughs> we, 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 we win that pot. We're, uh, we're in 12th place. It's 160K for the win. You know? Well, it's a good clip. 